think makes me think of Jack and Daxter, which makes me think of Bone Saw Five Seven Seven's run because it's the funniest Jack and Daxter speed run ever. Which then in turn has Naruto and Pikachu involved in some capacity. And then, when press starts, when press like somebody managed to put humor into a speed run, but I guess some people do like humor to speed runs as well. It's also the run that pretty much almost uh, got Jack series banned from GDQ because of how poorly it went. And then the no, no, no crash, I said, bring me the crystals, almost became a memo assassinate death triangle because of the mole triangles that I infinitely spawn for Bentley. They form a little death triangle because I'm killing all those moles for an egg because it's really easy to cheese. Thank God, finally. Ooh. I also thought about rearranging the the sunrise spring order so that uh, Sheila's last, and then putting for the love of God, just pay the bugger as <laughs> my uh, reference. Oh yeah, that's that's appropriate. Just pay the bugger. And then I also have a I also have a backup route where I don't do sunstones. Because, fuck it. I was supposed to race with Yoga, but because of me screwing up Sunseeds and then later having emulator lag preventing me from zombieing comfortably, I just ended up resetting and trying again. After resetting my computer. Oh, you got emulator lag too at one point. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. I mean, it, fu it fucked over my run because I was dying from a zombie attempts at Lost Fleet more than thrice. So it just lit it became that I couldn't finish the run comfortably while alongside Yoga and PB, which was the entire point of uh, recording. So I just ended up trying again. I also thought about uh, changing my sun, my uh, sunseed duds into it. For the love of God, don't fail sunseeds. Because it's still one that I'm not comfortable doing. I... Oh, that fucking not yet. sucks. There's all my time gone. Now that's pretty gift. TBH. There's also Doom so other Doom songs I can reference in uh, the split for Fireworks Factory. Oh, yeah. All right, please, for the love of God, let me get this skip. Nope. If I were to do Sunny and Sheila in their proper places, uh, for a hundo egg run, for optimizing purposes, I would do Molten Crater last. Because it's also what I'd do for Glitchless. Let's make up for it by getting Boar Proxy. Hmm. 
There we go. See, this is a little bit closer to what a run is supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah. Anybody want some chicken? Yeah. Sheila last, Sunny last, or uh, Molten last are my plethora of options for Sunrise. There was run one run where I considered doing Cloud Last just so that I can get Sun Seeds put back, pushed back as far as possible. It ends up screwing with my mojo. I thought the optimal way of going for our levels was just going for the ones that were closest. Um... Well, no, Cloud is the only one where I do most of, most if not all of the relevant eggs in it. So it, I may yeah. as well do it early, so that way I can have just immediate access to Molten and immediate access to Seashell. Otherwise, my order would be semi-backwards, where I would do the Sheila skip, then skip into Seashell, then do uh, Molten, Cloud, then Sunny. That is an alternate route I have for uh, 100 egg, but it's definitely my go-to for 149. Because I just need to get, sh but, well, no, any percent does Sheila last. But for 149 egg, Sheila first is a must. Just period. And then, yeah. Not a good entry. Listen carefully. I should make 149 egg splits. All of Sunrise Spring would be reset hell for different reasons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I heard the first... yeah there's the comes. reset heavy area. And then the reset hell would only stop, I think, after Icy Peak? Probably. Yeah. The current with, with the strats that you're using, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Buzz. I have some time save here as long as I don't get Dave. Okay, Dread. I knew it, that's the bad spot. Yeah, I'm gonna miss those hummingbird proxies off cages yeah. later. 
not now, because I'm pretty sure I still need it to actually flourish in this level. Otherwise, this would be a reset hell, too. <laughs> Why would this be a reset hill? Um, because I have a hard time moving fast at Sergeant Bird's base without the Hummingbird proxy cages basically amping my speed up considerably. So certain uh, positions and uh, ways of setup are how I rev Sergeant Bird up to actually stand a chance in this level. Fucking stutter jump. It is a it is a contender for uh the worst midday level, Sergeant Bird is. Okay, barely got that. Yeah, I would think it. Please Croxy, please Croxy. My only problem with Spooky Swamp is that since I'm not playing the game casually, Fucking I'm not hearing God. the funny haikus. So, that's why that one's boring without haikus. <laughs> sucks. You are... That probably would be... <clears throat> oh my god, please. Oh. Yep, this runs over. Yeah, I was a little bit away. <sighs> there goes all my time save. Or I should say there goes my green splits. I'm still here. Yeah, I'm just examining my splits again. It's not Honey Speedway. Sounds a lot funnier than not Honey Speedway, thank fuckle. At least shows a oh, greater... Oh, the Bentley, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Better, better it would just be a fifth reset hell, and then... Yeah. Reset hell number five, not Honey Speedway. And then Scorch would be the sixth reset hell. Most of the bosses in the game probably are reset hell, yeah. Fucking. The only one that isn't is the Sorceress. I've also got buzzed kind of down to a science. I just need to not suck at staying on the cliff.
still can't seem to get small uh, Rhinox proxies in uh, Sunny, but maybe I'll try for those another time. Don't oh, fucking bonk. Yeah, you can, you can use the amount of practice, you know? So. Yeah. Definitely amount of practice. And then I just shorten my time in Sunny Villa by a country margin. Because I skipped cutscene, at least. At least one of the small Rhinox proxies saves me a good minute. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you're probably right. And then Icy Peak Skip still can be done, because it's not a proxy, so... There's no excuse for that. <laughs> Just practice it, mate. I see peak. There's oh, a reason geez, why. Yeah, it's just why. Okay, yeah, that's why it's reset hell. <laughs> oh, by the way. Nice. Yeah, well done. GG. On the HP. Let's head on. At this point, I'm just trying to see if I can get sub 30 some of best, because I don't think I'll realistically PB. Or get sub 30 this run. <laughs> Uh, it's worth seeing how it goes, that's the thing, yeah. Because if you, you can end up doing really well in the last section, you're not always um, consistent with. And then, best level in entire game, which is Agent 9's lab, could be something a little funnier, even if I'm just paying homage to Agent 9's lab. Decent spike. Yeah, spike the maker of nightmares. <laughs> yeah, most good. Well, no, because Haunted Tomb would be fastest eggs in the game. Because it... tank, Tanks 2, because Tanks 2, I can skip the slide. Uh, King Rover's really fast. Listen to me here. It's not the fastest egg, but it's chief among them. Easily. And, uh... Yeah, pretty much... Yeah, Haunted 2 Tanks 1 is pretty hard to replace. Unless I just don't enter the minigame map because I'm doing other eggs instead. Yeah. Like, those are the two eggs I thought about replacing. Just with different eggs for comfort. I replace Haunted Tomb Tanks 1 with Sleepyhead, and I think I replace Haunted Tomb Tanks 2 with uh, ha uh, Harbor Speedway Time Attack. Yeah. Because Harbor Speedway is the fastest of the four Speedway Time Attacks, I'm pretty sure. That really sucks. Losing a minute here. I will. I see peak. Okay, so yeah, I gotta learn icy peak skip, and then I can. I see peak. Uh, uh, turn one of the one of Charity and Dan's suggestions into an actuality. <laughs> I see peak. No, because Dan keeps saying you to do I see peak. Yeah, and it's just... It, it... I could rename that split to worst level in the game. <laughs> in fact, why don't I do that right now? 
Huh. Reset hell number two. Worst level ever. Worst level in entire trilogy. Or worst level in the entire game. I won't be that mean. Uh -huh. Reset hell. Worst level. <laughs> I know how to rephrase the worst sunrise level. Boring without tiki heads. Thanks, bro. There you go. Eh, just spitting out fact. Molten Crater is really boring without the tiki heads minigame. The most fun part about it. <laughs> I guess. Tiki Head, the Tiki Head's minigame portal is actually really good level design. And then it's just, the rest of it's just very throwaway. Also, if I were to be real. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to fucking work. Yeah, I'm still not a fan of Molten Crater in any capacity. It's definitely in my bottom five uh, levels. Thanks for helping. Alongside Icy Peak, Lost Fleet, Seashell, because all of its mini games are just headache inducing. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, and it ends up being that Seashell's a worse level than Molten Crater outright. Because all of Seashell Shores minigames are frustrating. Yeah. Please, Firefly. Yeah, don't be a bitch, Firefly. I don't know why he's not moving anymore. So I eventually need to make a uh, version 2, but I'll do that on my own time. There's another 10 seconds lost. Now, um, at this point, closer to 15.
fighting. Big time safe here. All right, this final boss is to go. And that's pretty much run over. Are you fucking kidding me? Looks like you can save. Oh, you're about to save a minute on this, I think. What? No, on Scotch. Yeah, that should have been so much faster. I don't need this game. This. Shit show overrun.
Fuck oh, this game. Alright. That's a good enough PB for me to submit, I guess. Mm hmm. What a game. <laughs> Bad category. Comedian sometimes, Bentley. <laughs> uh, you know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again, so I should go make sure he's not in more trouble. You haven't seen him, have you? Huh? Me? Oh, no, no. If I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. Play that picture at 30 thump. It's a funny thing, Spyro. I adjusted Avalar's portals to take me to the dragon world, but somehow I ended up here. Maybe my coordinate tables are out of date by a thousand years. That would explain why the book was so cheap. So, now that you're done saving the world again, are you going to visit me in Avalar? Sure, Laura. But I still have to find the rest of the eggs, and, well, Hunter's disappeared again. Did you say, Hunter? Well, hey, I can help. I just saw him sneak off with... Uh, uh, -huh. uh Agent Nine, isn't that a Rhinox over in those bushes? Uh, Rhinox! Ooh, let me at him. You want a piece of me, Rhinox boy? Eat laser punch! Come on now, nuclear hiding! Uh, I'm sure Hunter is in good hands. I'm sure he will turn up soon. Promise you'll come visit Avalar soon, okay? Now, how many times have I told you not to tease that loop? It was Billy's idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that true, Billy? <laughs> Hold that thought, Billy. Spyro, great to see ya. Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. Hey. <laughs> you didn't hear anything from me. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Sad sight, Sparks. Another noble warrior falls. Okay. Look away. Well, I guess we'll have to find the rest of the egg by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. What were you up to, Gally? Looking at Miss Blitz. So I gotta save time in uh, Frozen Altars by not letting the Yeti screw me over or screw me out of a one round Yeti boxing two that I deserve to have all the time. I need to save time in fireworks by not dying while doing the uh, Agent 9 ground surfing. Yeah. I need to save time in Charmed Ridge by just getting the spin jumps done right. And I could save time uh, between Scorch and finishing Agent 9's lab by getting the movement there done right. I died once in Rail Shooter, which just due to hit detection bollocks. 
which cost me two minutes. And I could probably clean up my haunted tomb. Although door proxy was less of a coin flip. So I guess there's that. There's a couple problem areas that I need to still fix before I can just go, okay, the only way I can improve is through proxies. And close splits. And then eventually make a new... Sorry. Let me just exit out of that. So there's still plenty of places I can still save time from just getting micro movements done right before I start thinking about shifting my paradigm any. Shifting it as in, as in changing the route or something? Yeah. Just without changing the route, because even the later half, the later three levels of Midnight Mountain are just me running by preference. So I don't have official names for them aside for run by preference one, run by preference two, run by preference three. Otherwise, I'd probably have something like, ah, oh, Reset Hell, Scorpion Proxy, fastest eggs in the game. Because of Takes Two and uh, King Rover still being really fast eggs at the end of the day. And some some funny joke about Dino Mines Rail Shooter. For the love of God, do Rail Shooter. Since I don't do Sandcastles. Oh, yeah. Or I could say something like, shout out to Charity Royale. Oh, I like what yoga does. <laughs> ah, yoga's not a fan of that level, I see. Hmm. No, no, he, um... He always shouts out people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so I do have three funny names, but it depends on which route I do the most consistently. The most consistent is Haunted Tomb Last. De it's Desert, Dino, then Haunted. But I can always change it up at will. Say I yeah. go for Haunted Tomb first by mistake after Crystal Islands because the portals are right next to each other. So that's why I have it as run by preference. It's just because at any moment whatsoever, I could just do Haunted, then Dino, then Desert. Yeah. Or Haunted Desert Dino. Or Dino Haunted Desert. It, it gets tricky. Also after a... It's also after a fashion. Basically after Scorch, the game is free for me. There's very little I can screw up aside from Rail Shooter and... That's just because of hit detection. I was from Midnight Mountains. Eggs like just hard enough. They're all really fast. Except for I think the first Agent Nine's lab egg. And even that one can be cheesed to be fast. Yeah. Faster than any of the Lost Fleet minigame eggs. <laughs> At least. <laughs> <laughs> it, it gets that bad when I try to think of bottom 10 eggs like oh here's all the lost it's basically honey speedway race is the slowest egg followed by the other speedway races in turn so that's bottom 4 then lost fleet submarines 2 then the lost fleet hunter skates at, so that's bottom seven. And then... The Hunter Auto Scroller in Country Speedway. So Country Speedway Hunter fucks himself is slow. So it's bottom eight, 
slowest eggs 